Hey guys, it's Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis. Welcome, and it is Monday. Today is unfortunately gonna be the only stream that I will have this week, because I'm going to Adepticon on Wednesday. I'm excited about that. And also, so, one of the reasons why I'm doing this stream is because some of you aren't gonna be able to go to Adepticon, Adepticant. And so, um, I, I thought I would do a demonstration of my Realistic Skin Tones class the one, it'll get me like used to some questions that um, hopefully you guys will ask me. Sometimes in classes, people don't want to ask questions, so I'll have some answers and stuff for people that you guys give me. So I'm gonna be teaching on the Spider Silk Assassin. We're gonna do realistic skin tones this time. And let me show you. Hello, happy Monday, Steve in Texas, Amberton, Rin612, and Ludo's Paint, hello. All right, let's take a look at this. Then Elu, Elu. All right, so this is the Spider Silk Assassin, unpainted, completely built. It came in a little kit. Um, I was lucky to be sponsored by Kingdom Death. 
I'm very, very um, appreciative of that. So big shout out to them. And so this is what it looks like unpainted. Um, if you're gonna be painting this on your own, what I recommend is that you leave the cape off and maybe the base off while you paint the rest. It'll be, uh, maybe even the arms subassembled, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna show you how to do this completely built already. So the first step, this is step number one, is to prime it. And you can use black or white or a combination of both for zenithal, but I used um, green because it saved me a lot of time, especially when there's a lot, a lot of, um, what is it? Especially when there's a lot of skin on a model. So I use Steinle Res Green Primer, the perfect prime every time I used it um, with an airbrush, but this is a really great primer that you can also brush on. I highly recommend it by Badger, Steinle Res, S-T-Y-N-Y-L-R-E-Z. Um, yeah, and so I got the green. So that's how I start. When I start my realistic skin tones, I use a green, and people are probably like, why do you use green, Shoshi? Well, the reason why is because when I started painting, I was a fine artist, and um, acrylic portraiture was originally done many times. It's just one style, it's just not the only way, but it's a style called Verdaccio, and it would use a green base. And the color theory basically behind that is that the the oranges and the warm peaches of the skin tones would come forward. The green kind of makes a neutral background. But also, if you look at my skin, I'm Caucasian, right? It's transparent. You can see my veins. I'm very, I'm very pale. I don't go in the sun a lot. But you can see my veins. And so you're, you're creating um, an illusion of those blue undertones on a very tiny model. Hey, Frag Rock, how are you? All right. So there's that. So the second, so the first step I will show you is um, this is, and also you can, if you want to watch me do this on a larger model, go flip over to YouTube and watch the um, Flower Witch Skin Tones video. I'm going to write that down so people can see it. Oops. Flower Witch. Is on YouTube. So that's on there currently. So if, because this is going to take a few days for me to upload this up to um, YouTube. Mini painters burn up the sun. <laughs> okay, so. This is gonna be my first step. Just a little water on my palette and I've got my little empty, hold on, this is actually filthy so I need to scratch out some of this old crap. All right. You can tell that I'm a real artist because I am not organized. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put some ag, no, sorry, not agrax or shade. I'm gonna put Reichland Flesh Shade. Reichland Flesh Shade. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna use first. I need to shake that up a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this all over my green base to help me create shadows and also to kind of create that, that warmth that you want on the underneath. Okay, I'll show you how I start this. And I want this uh, crevices to be rather dark. The rest can be not so dark, but I want the crevices to be, like I said, rather dark. There we go. I'm just completely covering it. That's why it's like a flesh shade, right? She is a very pretty model. Yes, she has the booty. Most Kingdom Death models do. Okay, if I get a little on the extra on the on the clothing, it's okay because this is the base. I just found a cat hair. No, right on her back, right there. Oh, and it's glued in. There we go. Got it off. Cat hair. Let me 
make sure to get her back, her back side as well. Ba -dum -bum. And I'll let a little bit of the agrax. Oh, I don't see what see this how it's pulling on top of her, but I don't want that. Thank you for the follow, Duchess Venom. Welcome. We're teaching how to do um, realistic skin tones. Hi, where can you buy the Chimera paint? Go to Pegaso.com, I believe. But they have pre-orders. I'm not the one that's selling it. I'm not even sponsored by, by uh, Chimera. So you're just going to have to go on Facebook, go search for the Chimera Colors Facebook group. She has like an under boob thing going on right here. This is a very cute model. Pin up. She's sort of a pin up. Yeah, that's right. I forgot that. Spider silk assassin pin up. And pin ups are great for for um, for skin tones. That's why everybody wants to know how to do skin tones. All right. So see how it's just falling into the cracks. I'm gonna just put a little bit on her face here. Make sure to get her hands on both sides. A little bit more. Okay. Now, do you see how it's pooling up on her knee? I don't want that. I'm going to get that off. So, pull that down into the crevice. Check everything. All right, that's good. And then I would let that dry completely. Okay. So, for the purposes of this video, guess what? I already got one prepped. We don't even need to um, wait for it to dry. I'm planned ahead. I never plan ahead. So, so in case so many of you minis and oh, you've seen so many of my minis. Awesome. I'm, you're jealous of my skin tone. So now you're gonna learn how to do it. So one of the things I always keep a paper towel. And I kind of keep that handy to blot and control. Oh, Alexander, wow. Thank you for subscribing with your Twitch Prime. Oh my goodness, we're, we always write down names, so we're gonna write down subscribers really quick. You guys mean so much to me. We've had some new subscribers this month and I cannot tell you how excited that makes me. All right, Alexander. Five five eight one one eight. There we go. Thank you. Mad love. Hi pipe. Hi, los torpedoes. Los torpedoes. Um, I want to tell you guys. If you see me with my glasses off, and if my mods see me with my glasses off, do the little. Um, for my mods, do the little um, glasses off command. Yeah. Make sure I didn't miss any chats here. But um, do at show she's minis just like N Lamunas did up there, and that will that will kind of be highlighted on my on my feed, and I'll be able to see it so much better. Okay, so just as an experiment, I'm just gonna do another little wash of this just to see if I can get this to be a little bit darker in the crevices, right around the edges of things. Now, keep in mind, this is not Verdaccio. This is inspired by Verdaccio. It's basically using it a, a neutral ground. There we go. We've got some greens going. I'm going to do... I have to sneeze. Oh, don't sneeze. Achoo! Whew. Sorry. Do a little bit up here. In the, in the crooks of the knees. All right, and I'm notice that I'm getting rid of these little tea stains by pushing it back, pushing it back into the crevices. I don't want that coffee staining as they say. Okay, good, good, good. Now it's nice and dark. 
I will go ahead and let that dry a little bit while I get out the paints and explain to you what's next. Okay, see how I'm blotting? There we go. Hi, Maharoon, how are you? Crossbow is here, thank you. <laughs> oh, you said bless me. Thank you, guys. All right, I have my paints here. And for the purposes of this video, I will use, let's see. I always choose sort of like a triad of colors. And if I'm gonna use P3 this time, because it's a little bit easier, Cardic Flesh. I'm gonna show all these to you in a second here. Oh, and here's some P3 if you want a green to use as base instead of my primer. All right, that's good. Okay, now, that's my start. I, I pick a triad. Now, when you pick a triad of, this is for Caucasian skin. Let me shake this real good, real quick. More paints, you don't, you don't have to have these paint silver nail, I'm about to explain. I'm about to explain. You don't have to have, you don't have to have P3. I'm just using this for this video. You can use whatever paints you use though, try to use them from the same line. And the reason why is because satin paints and flat paints, they don't wanna play well together. Okay, so you don't wanna be picking out a satin paint from fantasy games and then another color from, you know, Scale 75 color, which is like a flat paint. You don't want mixing fat, flat, and satin. You wanna pick all of one or all of the other. The other thing is that, again, you, hi, Alexander, thank you for following. This is a triad. We have a light, a medium, and a dark, okay? So whatever paint you use, and that's the thing about this technique is that you don't have to use my paints. You can use your paints, but pick out a light, a medium, and dark. And notice, notice the difference in how they're pretty, actually still pretty close together, right? If you don't have three, a light, and medium, and a dark, you can make a light, and medium, and dark by using your dark and mixing a little bit more white with it or a little bit more of a flesh tone with it. Like, let's say I only had these two. I could put a little, a little, I could mix these two together to get my mid-tone. And in fact, I might end up doing that a little bit on this demo, okay? So, but instead, this company made a, made a triad. Reaper is another good company that has triads. All right, so I'm gonna put these. By the way, here's Ortic Olive. This is a P3 formula paint that you sometimes I use as my base if I don't use my green primer. The point is, is you don't have to have, um, it just needs to be an olive or a drab green, okay? So your base is an olive or a drab green. It can be any olive or drab green. You've locked the reaper triad groupings, good. Okay, so let's take out a little bit of that, put that on my palette. Let's pull that a little bit closer. You got here late. The first step, Sovereign. First step after you build your model is to prime it with a primer. I used green primer from Steinol Res. There it is. You don't have to use green primer. You can also use a paint. You can prime it regular and then just paint. Aw, Cadith, thank you for the subscription. But you can then base coat all of your skin with an olive or a drab green. It just needs to be a, a desaturated green, not a bright green. Don't use, don't use something like this, right? That's too bright, but something like this is perfect. An olive, don't use, don't use these, right? You want something drab for your base. Okay. That's the first step. And then after that, we gave it a coat, a coating of Agrax, or sorry, Reichlin Flesh Shade, and we made sure to give the crevices an extra once over. So now we're just putting, yeah, green undertones. They won't seem green once we get the flesh tones on there though. You'll see. All right, so this is my 
mid color here. <laughs> and then there's my Rin Flesh. This is my lightest skin tone. Now let's say I wanted to use now these these particular skin tones are pretty mundane. They're pretty um, peachy. But if you wanted something like more anime-esque, you might use something like this triad. Oh, you cannot even see that. There we go, there. That's, that's uh, totally different colors. I used these um, recently to do an airbrushed anime kind of skin tone, and it came out really well. I did this one, this one, and then the pale. Okay. All right, are we ready? Let's. Let's show you. So the first color I'm going to start out with is my dark. And I'm from here on out, I'm not going to mention the paint names because, again, it doesn't matter. What matters is you have your dark, medium, and light skin tone. Right? OK. My green undertones. Um, all right, so a lot of people are just going to be arriving. And I, don't, I can't repeat everything every time. So unfortunately, I'll repeat it this time, but after that, I'm not going to be repeating, okay? So maybe my mods can help me out or other people in the chat. So, Grand High Panda, thank you for following. So the green skin tones is what helps me make this look like a natural, realistic skin tone because Caucasian skin has blue undertones. If you're doing a darker, browner skin tone, it's not going to have green. You're not going to use green for an undertone. You're going to use browns for undertones. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, and I'm thinning this out, this is also important. You wanna thin this out. I'm gonna make a little glaze on the side. This is my dilution helper that I'm gonna show you guys. So I want something that is about in the middle. Yeah, that's probably how thick I want the paint. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. Try that again. There we go. So right about that medium, medium dilution. You should be able to see through the paint. OK. Now, starting at the like kneecap or the highest point on the skin, I'm going to use the knee first because this is obviously the biggest point. Notice that I'm pulling my glaze up to the knee. Pulling it and then there's a little ball of paint right at the top of the knee, right? And then I can do the same on the other side, pulling it back up to the knee so that my highest point gets that deposit of paint. And pushing that paint up around leaving a little bit at the knee, right? And then I'm picking that back up a little bit with my brush. So I'm controlling where the paint is. Notice that, okay, so I have to show something else. Let's see, find something I can write on. Let's use this. All right, so. Watch this, when I pull the paint, and then there's a ball of paint like on the end, maybe if I make it wetter, it'll be more obvious. See how it's thinner? That's a form of blending. There we go. See how it's thicker paint at this side. That way we can avoid basically those tea stain marks, okay? I'm gonna do that thin layers, very thin layers, leaving that slight, when I pick up the brush, I'm leaving a little deposit of paint on the kneecap. See, and now I'm gonna go back and turn around to her booty. Now her booty is gonna be the highest, right? And I'm probably this, I want the highest highlight to be at the top of her butt because the light is shining down and catching on her shelf, right? Notice that 
I'm letting that green transparently still be there for now. Notice how her butt is getting more and more colorful. So, pulling that paint around. If you have questions, just give me one second and I'll check chat. I pull that around there. Pull that up the leg because, and then there's another little elevation on her calf there so I can leave a little paint on that side. If I go back into it before it's dry, I'll leave a hole to see how I actually did that already. I left a little hole on the top of her butt. So you have to let the layers dry in between. While you're doing that, go around and it's as if you're highlighting. You're not going to touch every ounce of that green. The elbow, the elbow is the highest point of, there we go. So see that? Nicholas, thank you for the host. And actually, I've got to write down that subscription. That was so awesome of you. It was, wait, maybe it was only, did I miss it? Hold on, let me check. I feel like I missed it. Cadith, that was who it was. Thank you for that. That was it. Thank you so much, Kadith. I don't want to forget you. All right, now let's see. This is a wet palette. I'll be having these in my classes. This is from Redgrass Games. And you can get these online or you can, you know, stop me at Adepticon. I might have a few with me if you happen to go. Ben's Comets, yes, that's what these, um, these are from Ben Comets, these little dilution helpers. He's awesome. You can get those from bencomets.com. Thank you for the follow, Miss Fear. 94. Welcome. Can I turn the white balance down? Yes, I think that needs to happen. Mike always turns it up. I'll be right back. I'm going to go turn down the white balance. Let's see. It's something white out there. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I hope that will be better. Let's see. Yes. Well, it'll be somewhat better. We can't have it too. There we go. Yeah, we can't have it too um, dark or you won't be able to see the mini correctly. Hello, Mark Goodwin. How are you? All right. So if you can see, though, how thin this paint is, okay? Riot54, thank you for the follow. Boy, this has been a popular stream. I'm excited about that. All right, so there are some lines on her, on her tilchis. So I'm going to pull a little bit more paint to hide that. See how I give it a little bit more? This is highlight. We're highlighting. We're highlighting the green with the first skin tone color. I'm not too worried about it at this point getting it perfect smooth because we're going to add other layers of paint as well. And now I'm just pulling it down on the side here. Okay. Getting in the middle there. The calf, the calf is a little bit brighter than the rest of the thigh. 
So that's drying. I don't touch that while it's drying or else I'm going to create a little hole. It's going to turn into like cottage cheese. Don't go over it and over it. Just make a layer and then let it go and then come back to it. Make another layer. I made a hole up there. I didn't mean to make that. Okay. Okay. Let's see if you have any questions. Good tukas. Yeah, tukas. <laughs> you guys know my Yiddish, my Yiddish kite showing. Okay. Just pull that down there. Already looking more realistic, right? And then, okay. So here, Again, we're pulling it over to the sides of the of these hips because that's where the most skin is. And then on this belly pad, there's a little belly pad on most women under their belly button. For men, you'll do the abs, right? And you'll hide. Just hi pretend you're highlighting, right? There's not there's not much here, so I'm just going to give it a little bit in the arms. of her hands but I leave leave the underside of the knuckles dark for now pulling away from the wrist because the wrist has that little line there we go now these are her breasts and they there's actually she's got under boob as well so I'll highlight that first this is, gets a little tricky because it's so small Those absolutely get highlighted. You need to use a good brush with, with this technique. A bad brush is gonna just frustrate you. Okay, so we're highlighting. Pretending that the Skin tone, the green skin is our base, and then we're doing a, high, a broad highlight with the peach. You want to watch, but you have to work on packing. You can watch later in, um, in Laminus. You're going to be, um, be able to watch this on the VOD. Okay. So turn her around. I'm going to make sure to get my little highlight up here. Pulling that. Go ahead and work on the booty a little bit more. Give it. See, I'm leaving little piles of paint on the spots that have the most. See that already? It's starting to look nice. Notice I'm leaving that brown kind of green undertone in the shadows. Okay. Here's the back. The back, I forgot the back. He's got some little back dimples back here. I'm kind of working my way around those because I don't want to get rid of those. This is going to be a little bit more shadowed. So this is something I want to point out. So I'm going to get my green out because sometimes you're going to want to go back into your green and I'll show you why. You want you want your green to be able to smooth out your, your brush strokes, okay? I'm going to take a little bit of the green, and I'm going to just put a tiny bit of my green into my flesh color right there. See how it turns into a muddy peach? Uh, RNG Curator, thank you so much for the follow. So it's made sort of a, a brownish green peach, right? That's gonna be how you're gonna smooth things out when you see like it look crunchy. I guess that's my, yeah, that's the best word for it. I'm just gonna put this in places where I'm seeing lots of brush strokes. Smooth things out, it will help a lot. See that that already already looks like pretty nice skin 
right? Okay, look at this side. There's some brush strokes, so I'm gonna just make your eye, like basically it, it, it tricks your eye. So that one had a big one right there. Fall 21, thank you for following. So, I'm just going around now and kind of smoothing out, touching up areas that the skin wasn't very smooth. Okay, on the knees. That's looking good. Let's do her face. Now, I want you to look at me. When you're painting a face, you're gonna paint the light and you're gonna start, so you're, you're gonna leave all the shadow bits as the base. So you're gonna start cheekbones, bridge of nose, a little bit of the top of the lip, chin, like the top of the forehead, you know, places where you have protrusions, okay? <laughs> beep bop, beep boop. Yes, she does have an apple bottom on her. It's funny. All right, so this is such a small model. You can use the cardic flesh. This is the, or sorry, the, the dark skin tone here. Pull it down her nose. Make sure to get her cheekbones. A little bit of, little bit on the lip and a little bit on the chin. And that's, that's pretty close to it. Um, okay, now I'm gonna go back in here, just pull toward that elbow. This is my second layer with the base color. We're already looking more and more like a human being, right? Calandros, hello, thank you for following. Okay, now we're on to our second color. Actually, I wanna touch up just one more thing back here. I noticed there's a little piece of back. Baby got back. <laughs> okay, so now I'm using my second, my second flesh tone, which is my mid-tone here. And this time, I want to show you the show you what I mean here. Um, so pretend this is oh, this is really bright. Nope, that won't work. So hmm. yeah, we'll just use this. So let's say that's my first layer right over my green. Let's say that's my first layer. My second layer is going to be smaller like shingles on a roof. Sam Lenz was the one I heard say that. Dark stone decay. Dark stone decay. <laughs> so this one's gonna be smaller and more in the center, see? Now I'm gonna blend that so you'll get to, let me see if I can do that. Holy cow, we're having follows galore. This is awesome. All right, I'm gonna show you rather than explain. So this is my second, second highlight and notice that my area of effect here, my area, that's a game term, so you should be able to get that, like, right? If uh, if the first one was a, a three inch area of effect, the second one will be, will be a two, in, area, two, in, two inch area of effect. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use that from now on. See how now we're creating volumes. Pushing that ball of paint around to the center. Booty. Now, again, to the spots that have the highest amount of highlights, I'm gonna add a little extra and then try to pull this down to that spot that has the extra. 
and see if I can thin this out because I'm seeing massive brush strokes right now. Okay. Do the same thing, pull that down. Notice I'm turning the mini, I'm not turning the brush. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. I'm going to go back in with that darker mid-tone color to smooth, again, smooth things out. Each layer is acting like a layer of stained glass. So it's you're able to kind of see the next layer, right? A simple suggestion for folks to paint faces, especially for those who do makeup, is to look up makeup tutorials. Yeah, I've said that to people in the past as well. I agree. Go on YouTube and look up makeup tutorials if you want to help painting faces. Thank you, Kaziah. Nor, nor Q, thank you so much for the follow -up. Voluminous Cheeks Gradient. Gradient, that's right. Exactly. Okay, so. Notice I'm not going everywhere. I don't want to, I don't want to drown out shadows. I'm creating shadows picking where they are and much smaller that is because that's where my light is. I'm painting light. So for instance, this, this thigh is curling around. So now I'm painting the highlight. I don't want to paint the entire thigh. I just want to paint the highlight of the thigh. But it's got to be very smooth because skin is very diffuse. You don't have sharp highlights like you would on non-metallic metal. Okay. Oops, wrong color. <laughs> okay. Let's make sure to get a little bit of a layer of that second one right here. All right. Pull it down on her leg here. This calf has a lot of, a lot more highlight. Booty, booty, booty. Okay. Now again on that tummy pad. Making just very small brush strokes. Controlling where my paint is going. on her hips, because the hips are also going to have some light, right? And then, like under boob, right, or whatever this is called, and the top half. So I feel like I lost some shadow. Some of the some of the um, paint got down into the crevices. So in that case, what I'll do is I'll mix a little bit of my shadow color with the green again. And I'll put that down in there. Let that dry. Got a little dry. All right. Do the top of the hand. Tiny, tiny little brush strokes. I'm trying to come right up to that line. Now we got some of that shadow back, right? Same thing, we're going to go up here to the face. I'm just going to hit the nose and the cheekbones a little bit. These are like the IS highlights almost. Starting to look human being. See, I want you to see something. When I when I this is how I'm holding my brush 
and I'm blending like this. I'm kind of, see when I go back over that middle spot, it gets darker. That's how I'm blending. See? I'm, I'm, I'm messing up my nail nail polish job for you guys, for the for the art. It helps create a rich shadow undertone. Yes, exactly. Green undertone is to create Caucasian skin. All right, we're gonna go up here for her little back dimples. And then this shoulder part up here. Rest, that's more shadowed, so I don't try to highlight all that stuff in the shadows. The stuff on her shoulder up here, that's that's gonna get the most concentrated color because it's right out in the open where the sun might hit it. Okay, we've got a little hand. I've been neglecting her hand up here. I'm gonna go back to my cardic flesh, which is my darkest skin tone. Now the darkest skin tone has the most orange undertones. And then this one has a lot more white in it. The reason why I don't start with the mid-tone, I start with the darker, I go from dark to light, is it just helps me create contrast better and more, more tones, right? Okay, she's looking human. Okay, this is the kind of technique that you are gonna need to learn to practice. You're gonna have to practice it until you master it because it's not something that you will necessarily get right off the first time. All right, now, if I need some brighter final highlights on this. I will be using the lightest one and I'm just gonna look, I'm gonna pick out spots where that might be the light, like that might be the most light. A little bit on the knee, just a little bit. Right here on this hip. Right. Definitely on the breast. This needs to be the smallest brightest highlight. See, now they look like little little bubbles. Ugh, so funny. The fun monkey, thank you for following. I did paint the polish. Don't worry, I got it off. <laughs> All right, so I got my final highlights of there. A little bit on this top of this thigh here. It needs to be really nicely blended. Notice how pale and blah she looks, okay? You don't wanna stop here. I'm gonna have got more steps, so you're gonna see what's gonna happen. Let's put a little, okay, so sun is coming from two o'clock, so I'm gonna put a two o'clock highlight on this side of her rump. Right, so we have realism. Notice, and then over here, a little bit on this top of this calf. Definitely some on top of that calf. Not too much anywhere else, but definitely some over here because this whole side is being lit from the sky. Now, Kingdom Death doesn't have a sun, so this is a this is a skin tone that you're gonna maybe not use on all your Kingdom Death models. Some of them might use other things. Okay. Now, elbow, that elbow's right out in the top, so is this shoulder, so that's gonna get some 
light. And then this side of her face, smallest, highest highlights. Boom, boom, boom. Do that elbow one more time. Okay, ready? Now, notice you can see that it looks pretty patchy. So this time I'll take a little bit of my mid-tone glaze. It's thin, and I'm just going to do a, a quick glaze. Try to get rid of some of that patchiness. And that smooths things out pretty nice, actually. Now there's another secret. It's not a secret. It's my secret that I use to try to blend things with your eye to keep that patchiness, get it even smoother. Okay. I'm just going over things with the mid-tone right now. It has a little bit more orange in it, so. Okay, that's good enough. Got back, go back to your Agrax Earth shade or an ink or something basically. I'm gonna add some water to it because I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be thick. I want it to be thinned out. Wizza! Hello, how are you? Okay, a little bit more thin. That's probably good enough. Here, I'll show that to you guys on my palette. Ooh, that's thin. Let's see if I can show it to you on, there we go. That's, that's how thin that wash is. There we go, much better. Okay, all this does is it will, it does something to all the layers and it will like blend your eye. Notice that there aren't any heavy, heavy, um, you don't want a heavy wash. You want, it's pretty thin. That's why I added water to it, because I want, I just want it to create a little layer. It's gonna act like, like, a, like a filter. Basically, that's what it is. And it's gonna blend all of those brush strokes together and it'll dry super nice. Okay, I'm gonna do the face, because that face is looking rough. Okay, good. Next, I'm gonna get out three colors that I call my adjuster colors. Okay? Is it better to use water or thinner? I think you could use thinner because water will sometimes crystallize um, these washes, the, the um, it'll sometimes crystallize the Reichland flesh shade. So thinner or um, thinner or water is fine though. Okay, so my adjuster colors, I'm looking for them right now. Um, here we go. You need some kind of magenta. Let me find a magenta. Is that it? There we go. So I'm using, these are just the Reaper ones, but magenta. You need a turquoise. Oh boy, it shows me I need to find things to put into my palette here. There's um, a pastel yellow and a turquoise. Hold on, I'm gonna find the turquoise. Bear with me, I'm gonna go get it off my shelf here. Oh, I almost forgot. We don't actually wanna use these. These are flat, remember flat and satin don't mix well. So let me look for my P3 colors that are those colors. Okay. P3 Murderous Magenta, I believe, is my, yep, there it is. Here we go, and a turquoise is gonna be that one. Or that one, yeah, there it is, blue. Okay. Nope, that's the wrong yellow. Well, that's okay, we can use this. 
All right, these are my adjuster colors. These are, we're gonna use these. Notice I'm not showing you the paint names because it doesn't matter. What matters is what kind of, um, do they have a satin or do they have a flat finish? The finish is what matters. But you're gonna pick turquoise, magenta, and a pastel yellow for your adjuster colors. Okay? And I'm looking, first I'm gonna look and make sure her skin is smooth like I want it to be. Looks like it's there almost. Let me just. All right, so for the first thing I'm gonna do is my, I'm gonna do cool. I'm gonna cool off the skin in places to create some shadow effects. Now, what happens when you mix flesh? with blue, with turquoise. They're basically opposites on the color wheel, aren't they? So they're gonna make kind of a dull, a dull gray, right? That's what you want. So that is gonna, you're gonna take a little bit of this, thinned out, very thin. You only need a tiny amount. That's probably too much. So you're gonna take this thin amount. See how thin that is? I need to put my glasses on. There we go, see how thin that is? Very thin amount. <laughs> P3 is so difficult to find. So like I said, it doesn't matter what paints you use. You can do this with other paints. You just have to pick the right colors from your set and stick to, make sure that if you use flat paints, that it's all flat paints. Okay, all right, now here I'm gonna put, right in between your legs, I'm gonna put a little bit of this turquoise because we're cooling things down and that's gonna be a shadowed area, right? A very thin, thin blaze. All right, that's gonna be the first shadow. A Little bit here under her, on her inner belly button. Don't try not to make it too turquoisey because I just did that. A little bit under here, under her boobs is where some shadow is. In between her boobs is going to be some shadow. Under her neck. If you were doing a guy, if you were, if you were like, let me show you. So this is one. Of, this is actually a figure I can do this on. Notice this guy has a bald head. Okay, so I've got my skin tone right here on him. If I want to add a little, I want to cool off the top of his head because I want it to look like it's got a little bit of a, um, mix the two together and create a grayed glaze on the top of his head. And you can do that on the, like the beard part of a guy too. Mix this good. Okay, here we go. Follow the pattern of his hair. See how that looks? And it looks pretty realistic. Because it looks like he's got a shaved head. That's basically the stubble causing a shadow, right? Okay. She's got nice shadow between her legs. I'm gonna just do a little bit over here in her hips. These are subtle. And then in her in her um, elbow pit, a little bit on the elbow pit, right? And that's all I can see on the front. Now on the back, you're gonna do this shadows under under the glutes. in between the thighs again. And then she's got those back dimples. It's got a little shadow. That's got a whole shadow from the scarf. And then there's shadows up here. Notice she's starting to look more real. A little bit of shadow here behind the, behind the knees.
We're just cooling off these spots. Okay. Starting to look more and more real. Little, little, little bit in the armpits. Anywhere where there's going to be a little shadow, right? Okay. Yes, like a fresh shaved head. Yes, exactly. Okay. Now we're going to paint sunlight with this. With this sulfuric, this is um, pastel yellow. I'm gonna actually add a little bit of ivory to this because this is even brighter than I probably want it. I want it to be a light yellow. Probably more like this, but this is a flat paint. And do you see the difference in the colors here? See, this is much darker, more pigmented. So I wanna add just a smidge of ivory to my yellow. So it's not quite so strong. Thank you for the follow, Solin One. Thank you so much. We've had a bunch of extra followers because people really like skin tone videos. And that's awesome. And you can feel free to message me if you've got questions and you need help with this or you want to show me what you've been working on with the with skin tones. I'm happy to help. Okay, so this is my pastel yellow and I'm painting I'm thinning this out just as much as I did the other ones remember these are adjuster colors they're not meant to be painted on solid so now this this goes on wherever the sunlight is touching and what does what does orange and yellow make it makes like a lighter yellow right we're gonna paint that on her on her knee right here a little bit it's a little bit too light right there, a little bit up there. There we go. Up on that hip. I want that to be nice and bright. On that tummy pad. Not much on this leg, a little bit up here. So see, now, this is where it's important, up here. Small, small highlights on the breasts, very small. We don't want to make them yellow. We just want to give it a little bit of a contrast. See that? Boom. A little bit on the top of that hand there. Again with the tummy pad. Now we're creating more volumes by bringing up the highlights. A little bit on her nose and her cheekbones again. Just a tiny bit. Again on this elbow going to be pretty good and on this part of her booty. Nice. This whole side of her thigh and this part of her calf. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to check chat. This side of her booty also. And then this side of her hip on the back. You know, if I had missed the part talking about the bald head, the fresh shave, shaved comment takes on. Oh, hey, well. <laughs> uh, with King of Death, you just never know anyway. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of this lighter highlight with my flesh tone here. And you're adjusting. So that means like this isn't 100% steps there's going to be um and so not only that but look at it looks like a canvas if you look really close there's there's definitely um it's not 100 percent fully blended your eye is blending it it's an illusion okay now i need to oh thank you for the follow chris win I'm going to take a little bit of my mid, my mid-tone again and I'm going to just glaze it back so that it's more blended in. And thank you for the follow Otagian, Ota, Otagian, I think that's how I say it. 
Just blend that over. Remember the stained glass. There we go. I want to keep keep things blended. Like that. That um, tiny little uh, turquoise belly button's bugging me. Let's see if I can calm that down a little bit. That's better. Much better. Take the, take the time to go in and smooth things out and smooth up brush strokes. Okay. And if you need to go back a step or two, do it. Okay. Yeah, I had to go back a step a little bit. Thank you for the follow, OG Clown Shoe. I like that original, original gangster clown shoe. Okay. So far, she's looking like a human, but let's let's show you. Now this is pretty well. I mean, I'm seeing some brush strokes, but it's not bothering me too bad. For the final adjuster color the magenta and this is very very powerful color so you're gonna just use the tiniest amount so whatever amount that you think you need probably use a half of that so that's probably plenty right there that little amount i'm going to thin this out again so that i can make a glaze a glaze with just a little bit of pink in it now watch how this bottom comes to life, okay? You're gonna put the red wherever the bone or there is more blood vessels, okay? I'm gonna put some right here on the booty. Push it around till you get it to lay where you want it to. A little bit in the back here. On the shoulders on the elbows. There's blood vessels on bony parts. Okay. A little bit under here where there's a little bit of shadow. All these colors are mixing with your eye here on the knee. See that knee just came alive, didn't it? A little bit um, on her hips. A little bit. Um, I'm gonna put some on in between her. There we go. Let's see. So her face is so itty bitty. I mean, I try to put some on her lips, but you want some on the end of her nose. A little bit on the end of her nose. Like I said, elbows. Let's do the knee one more time because I'm going to give it a little bit more of a rosy knee. There we go. Throwing some of this some of this red into the shadows. Can I see how that looks? Yeah, she doesn't want to be spanked exactly. You missed it earlier and did some Google searching. Who? makes the paint test strips. It's bencomets.com. That's who makes it? Bencomets.com. You can find them and you can get them. They're really best for teaching. I don't use them too much when I'm actually painting because I can just eyeball it. Okay. Thank you for the subscription. Oh my gosh. D, D Bruns, Brunzy, D Brunzy. We're gonna write your name down up here. Mad love. Get some hype. All you subscribers, you guys keep me going. With your Twitch Prime, D B R U N S I I. Thank you so much. They're out of stock right now. Yeah, just message them. They, they'll maybe get, I mean, I know Ben's on his way to a convention, so probably won't have time, but if you message them and tell them you want them, bencomets.com. It's not a they, it's just one guy. So 
you know, just be a little patient. So now I'm going back in and I'm, again, I'm smoothing things. I'm blending things with my, with my mid-tone, with my base tone. Now, I wanna show you what happens when we start painting clothes on her, okay? I wanna show you what happens to the skin. Let's see, let's make, let's figure out what we're gonna, let's do um, her little bandages. Let's do a gray to start. I'm using scale 75 for that part. Okay. I'm just gonna paint all of these little weird bandages the same color. Once you get the skin tone painted and you start painting the other parts of clothing on here, it dramatically changes how the skin looks, right? So that means you might want to adjust again once you get things painted or not. Okay, so that looks good. Through the back here, she's got a little bow. Completely covering up all that green that's the primer, that's okay. And I'll even show you guys how to do a little OSL. She's got a little bitty lantern right here. And if I were gonna paint that, let's paint the whole lantern with this uh, bright colored ivory. Okay, and that's gonna throw, throw off a golden light. So I'm gonna take my color adjuster, remember our yellow, and I'm gonna layer that on close to where the lantern is. And I need to make sure to have that soft. I need that very soft. See how we Adjusted the temperature of that skin by... Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Renee Lee. Let's add a little bit more of the skin tone to it because hopefully that will lighten things as well. Let's see. Get a little OSL going here. Now that that white is going to dry, I can add my yellow to it for my lantern. See? Lots of height and comets. <laughs> he is a great artist. He's a, he's a really great guy too. As someone who's trying to break into the professional minis, I'm a godsend. Ah, oh, Duchess Venom, thank you. That's funny. All right. Everybody started somewhere, right? Okay, so there's there's a little bit of glow, and then of course you're gonna have some on her cape. From you're gonna imagine like a little glowing circle, throwing light. See that changed everything. Now because it's got a little OSL, you're gonna want those shadows to be a little darker, right? because that's gonna give you a higher contrast. So the shadows, I'm gonna throw in some more of that blue, right? Pump up contrast. Okay, so I think for giggles, I'm just gonna make her whole little outfit here white. All right, now, a 
contrast again, we're going to paint the bandage, the bandages. I'm just leaving that gray as my base and I'm layering a layer of, of the ivory. And because it's so itty bitty, it won't read as gray, it's going to read as ivory. See that? If I can do that with the other bandages. Yeah, that works. Good. See how the skin is really popping now that I'm getting some, some, um, Awesome. Glitster, holy cow, man. You guys have missed most of the skin tone, but that's a crazy raid. Guys, give Flickster a follow. He is one of my triptych brothers. Mad love, mad hype. Let's do a hype for Flickster, or do a shout out for Flickster, actually. This is crazy. We're gonna have to go extra. Shout out. Wait, let me spell Flickster right. P R R. There we go. Did I do it right? I did it wrong. No, I'm still doing it wrong. What am I spelling wrong? <laughs> Somebody help. F L I K S T R R. I thought I did it right. Oh, it did it. Okay, it did it. I've been doing it right. Mad love. Okay, since you guys all just got here and we we just finished this amazing skin tone video, let's do another skin tone. Let's do some uh, more skin tone. And this time, I'll do it much slower. And you guys can ask me questions while I do it, okay? Does that sound good? Give me, give me some emotes and some thumbs up if that sounds good. Okay, if you want to see me do this skin tone from this to this, from, the, from this to this. Hey, Flick, thank you for that amazing, crazy raid. You're amazing. I know how busy you are too, so that's, um, that's just even better. Okay, we're gonna, we're, we've got another hour, guys. Aw, thank you for the subscription, Forever Night. What? That's so amazing. Let's write your name down. We've got, we've got a few subscribers today and I just wanna tell you again that your subscriptions, bases of per, perations is following um, for every night with a, your subscriptions mean so much to me because you guys know I don't do tons of giveaways. I, I don't, you know, so those people who subscribe, it really, it really means a lot. 1GHT. Thank you so much, Forever Night. Okay, I'm seeing some emotes. People are wanting me to. You do want to see that, Shoshi, but I think it'll, it'll benefit more in person. That's true, but that's the, this isn't for people who are going to see it in person, Bug King. This is for people who. Actually, I take that back. For those of you guys who are coming to my class, being able to come back and watch this video after you've been to the class, it's gonna help reinforce and help you remember everything you learned. FMJ Rounds, thank you for following. So we're gonna do this again, okay? Is that all right? Do you guys wanna do that? I just saw a few emotes. We're gonna do the skin tone. There's 134 of you that weren't watching it from before. <laughs> all right. I will explain again, and this time I'm going to do it slow so that you can ask me questions, okay? So the first thing we did, we had a bare model like this, and we primed it. I primed it with green Steinol Res primer. Okay, there's the Steinol Res. Okay, you don't have to prime it in green. You can prime it with white and black and then just use a base of uh, olive green 
You can use any olive green as long as you're using all of your paints from the same paint line. Okay, so like this or this. Where's another olive? That's not olive green. This is a very light olive green. I wouldn't recommend the super light, but basically a drab or olive green is gonna work. Okay, this one will work as well. See, that's more blue, but that's fine. Does it say non-toxic on that primer? Ben, gee, I have no idea. Um, it does not say it. It doesn't say it on the primer. And so then, okay, so then we've got it primed, but, or you can base coat, whichever you prefer. So if I were gonna base coat it, then I would use like my green, just paint the skin green. For this uh, demo, I've got this with the primer because it saved me tons of time, right? It saves a step. Then I've got three different, and it, again, it does not matter which paint you use, okay? I've got three skin tone colors, a dark, a medium, light. I'm not gonna talk about paints because it doesn't matter as long as they have the same same uh, surface, like, uh, what do you call it? Not, I always blank this name. Finish, the same finish. So if you use satin paints, make sure the three colors have a satin finish. If you use um, flat coats, actually let's do, the, let's do this one in flat, because that will be easier. Let's see if I can pick out three tones in flat paints, let's see. Mm, and now I've got to look. Here's another one. Okay, so there's there's a triad of flat paints. Dark, medium, light. All right, so I'm going to start with my my dark one. Okay. Rip to the use. Okay, so you don't need an airbrush for this, FJ, FMJ. I mean, you can you can brush paint it. In fact, we could brush paint the Steinle Res on right now with this, but I'm not going to. But Steinle Res is brushable. You can brush it without an airbrush. Hold on, now Chad is going crazy. <laughs> what are the miniatures you're painting? This is a Spider Silk Assassin by Kingdom Death, and they donated these to me. They're sponsoring my class. And so we're doing this, um, yeah, we're doing this through exactly one shot primer. You know what else you can use? You can use Army Painter Green Primer. It's a little bit, um, it's got a texture to it. That's the only thing. Hey, J. Crod. All right. So the next step, I'm going to use some Agrex Earth Shade. Or not, sorry, I always say that, but it's not. It's Reichland, Reichland Flesh Shade. Okay, make sure this is clean one of these out because I always get Fisher King Canada just subscribed. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So you guys are helping me so much with your subscriptions. Cannot even tell you. Even just Twitch, Twitch Prime makes a huge difference. Awesome, thank you. Let's give some mad love. Wow. Okay. Get some of the crumbs out of my palette. Put in the Rykla and Flesh Shade. J. Crod just subscribed. Oh, holy cow. And it says four months in a row. I is a Malari. Thank you so much for, or I is a, Mar, is a Malari. There we go. Thank you for following. Hey, Crod, I missed. What did I miss? Have fun at Adepticon, he says. That's great. 7776. There we go. Okay. Woo, tie for all the subs. Yes, exactly. That is massive. It is massive. I never want to 
underestimate how, how much that is awesome. Especially because, like I said, I don't do tons of giveaways, so the fact that people are subbing and I don't, you know, you guys are here for reals, for realsies. Okay, I just got paint all over. Give me one second while I clean this up. Kazer117, thank you for that follow. All right. Let's do this. This one, okay, so now I'm gonna thin this out just a smidge. Not a lot, but I'm gonna thin it out a little bit and put this on, making sure that the brown goes into the crevices. Remember that part? All over the part that has skin. And what that's gonna do is that it's gonna give us some shadowed areas without getting rid of our green. Right? It's gonna set us up for having some nice um, brown shadows. There we go. Put that all over. Notice I just let it settle into the crevices. On the arms, on the fingers, on the face. Oranoda, thank you so much for the following. You wish you didn't miss the start of the stream. Teveson, we're starting over. This is the, this is the new start of the stream, so you didn't miss anything yet. Okay. This sculpt is from Kingdom Death. It's the Spider Silk Assassin. See how it went up like that? Oh my gosh, another... Mark Goodwin, thank you for your subscription. I can't get over this. This is awesome. There we go. Thank you. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh. That's just amazing. Thank you guys. Stream part two. Exactly. This is the reinforcement, right? We're reinforcing what we learned in the first part of the stream. Because you saw it doesn't take me that long to get the results I'm, I'm going for. Notice the nice deep shadows on her, on her skin there. Got to move kind of quickly over the larger areas because you don't want tea stains. And I did get a little bit of a tea stain on her leg over here, but okay, I can, I can move things around. All right. This one, there we go, that's better. All right, I think I got everything. Oh, got to get this side of her arm. Get this side of her hand. All right, good enough. That normally we would let let that dry. So while that dries just a little bit, you know what? So that's that's step two. By the way, step two is putting it on there. So we already have this girl all ready to go, right? Everything is dried. Maybe give it a little bit. A little bit more in some of the spots you want a little bit darker. Because you want that high contrast, right? Over here, over by a booty. A booty. So, that's, that's where we start. Okay. Now, with my darkest flesh tone, I'm going to be highlighting. Now that my hands are all warmed up and everything, I should be able to do this better. Thinning this out, remember to ask questions. Oh, hydrate, I do need to hydrate. Today on Shoshi's Minis, she will be doing skin tones. Nope, we will be showing appreciation for subs, exactly. <laughs> well, you should always show appreciation for subs. <laughs> Definitely. Sorry, what's, why do you use the shade paint first? Why don't you go straight to the base color? 
because we're creating an illusion and we're, we need something in the, in the crevices to be our like dark. So rather than go to like a black or a, a brown base color, we're gonna create the shadows first and then paint this with the highlight. Let me, let me show you the, the results. Tell me if you can argue with the results, okay? It's, this is how you get a realistic skin tone. We're not painting that way because that's not how you get a realistic skin tone. Okay, so we're gonna be basically doing highlights, pulling the paint up to the knee. Let's, do the, let's try to do this a little faster so you guys can see what I mean. We're pulling paint toward the kneecap because that's the highest point on the mini, right? You're using color theory. Color theory means that the warm colors come forward and the cool colors recede, so that that green becomes kind of a neutral, almost a gray. And so you uh, you're creating dimension. And also, skin skin is my skin is is Caucasian and it is not opaque, so we don't want to start with a base coat. We don't want a plastic looking mini. Okay. This, this mini will not look like she's made of like anime resin when you get done. She'll look, look more like a real person, like a little alive mini. That's my goal anyway. But this is not your normal skin tones class. This is realism. Oh, hey, just Richard. Oh my gosh, it has been forever. Richard is my friend from the UK, probably one of my first friends from the UK. And we started, we, we really like, he started the War Machine Sword painting group and then I helped him grow it with our friend Devonian. All right, I'm just highlighting on spots, leaving, leaving some of that green in the shadows, leaving some of that brown in the shadows. That's how you get your that's how you get your volumes and your dimension. Right? How much did I thin the paints? Okay, let's show you. And I did not thin I did not thin it with medium. I used water. And let me find my dilution tester. Here we go. Okay, check it out. This is about see if I can show you. That is about the thinness of the paint. So if I'm putting it on here with water, I want the paint to be pretty transparent. See that? Not very, not very thick. Does that make sense? The handle you use What's the bit coming out on the side? So this is this is a um, Rathcor holder from Rathcor. Um, dot, uh, sorry, you can get it from PK Pro. And I hold I hold this like this, and I rest my hand on the bar. Look at that, and it gives me brush control, and I can turn the mini, keeping my brush at the same angle the whole time. And it's, I, I use my I use a lot less stress on my hands because I'm doing it that way. It's very because I'm not sitting there holding my mini in my fingertips. I I can relax a lot more. I, I have a better control. There we go. See the booty? You can't see it because I'm holding it so close to the camera. That's probably why. In this case, the shadow wash will come out more subtle than if you did it after. Yeah, definitely. So I'm just layering these little, make sure each layer is completely dry before you add the next one. So I'm working my way around the mini so that I can avoid going back into the same wet paint. I don't want to go into the same wet paint because that will mess me up. 
By the way, guys, click the follow button if you've never followed me before because I am a teacher and I love teaching paint. This whole stream is, is uh, all about education, fun, and, um, and painting in minis. So if that's something that you like and you like learning to be a you know, painter, do that. Follow me. There we go. I'm gonna add layers to the booty because the booty is the highest point on the model, right? I'm trying to keep this smooth. It's also easier to be hyper accurate with the brush if both hands are connected. This is true. So sometimes if, I, if you don't see me with a with a, with one of these holders, I will I will rest one hand on the other while I'm painting, or I'll put two fingers next to each other. Just gives you stability. I'll put both elbows on the table. Can you guys see here? Put both elbows on the table and put my wrists together to paint, and that will that will help me a lot. Plus, I'm also not hunching over. I'm looking back. Aw, oh, thank you, Jess Richard. Yeah, he's known me for since the beginning, haven't you? Black Dawn 1980, thank you for the follow. Nicholas says, I appreciate you teaching. This is awesome. I I love teaching. I have a, I have a background in teaching and I have a background in, in fine art. And so um, it's something I love. Okay, so we're getting the layers of the peach built up. There we go. Notice how this leg over here with more green on it looks more shadowed because it is less peach on it. That's totally good because that leg is probably bent and it's gonna have a little bit more shadow. So it gives the illusion of light and contour. Okay, get the shoulder. This leg is a little bit behind. This one is bent forward, so it's gonna be brighter. Now I'm using my middle color, my middle flesh tone color. Oh, wow, Old Man Logan, thank you for the subscription. We're gonna keep thanking my subscribers because you guys are amazing. Old Man Logan. I really like the way you're teaching. It's 5 a.m. in Hong Kong. Oh my gosh. I feel so honored. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, um, a better time for you to watch um, in Hong Kong might be on Wednesday because I, I stream at night and it's, it's maybe a little bit earlier in the morning for you, but it's not so late. Miss Rachel just subscribed. Wow. Guys, this is fantastic. Oh, I like that. Rachel. I get it. Rachel. <laughs> That's awesome. So she pretty much just uses every paint under the sun. Lately, she's been using Scale 75 Artist Tube Acrylics. Yeah, I, I do. I do. I like to switch it up because I like to see what techniques, some techniques you can get better with different paints. Wow, Doc Hooligans, oh my gosh, how are you? Oh my gosh, guys. I'm, 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 I'm for Clint. I'm, I'm overwhelmed with the subscribers, you guys. So fantastic. I have had a little bit of a slow period with my um, commissions because I have seasonal affective disorder and it makes it like hard for me to get stuff done in the winter time and now it's finally spring but I still haven't had the business pick up so that your subscriptions like dude it means so much because that is my income I hate saying that on, on camera but it's the truth and I just want you to know why I'm so grateful yeah, this isn't a hobby for me. This is my my full-time job. All right, I'm just getting the highlights on her chest bomb there. Is that okay to say? <laughs> I 
All right, I'm gonna go in on her face and I'm gonna paint mostly, her face is so tiny, there's not a lot I can do, but I can get that base color on there with the shadows being kind of on the sides. All right, a little bit on this elbow. Okay. I'm gonna jump to my mid-tone now. And again, we're gonna be smoothing it, but it's gonna be smaller than your first, first color, right? Try to keep it smooth. You've been watching me for years on Facebook and you think it's darn time you paid me back. Aw, thank you so much. Like, yeah, what happens when I run out of room to write is I'll probably like be over here. <laughs> you played Armada with my husband a couple times, Miss Rachel? Oh, that's awesome. He's gonna be going to the tournament in that uh, Adepticon. So cool. You just looked it up and most are 35 millimeters. Oh yeah. Especially, could you be so kind and to teach how to paint body flashing through the wet clothes? Oh, I can try. I don't think we have the right. Okay, let's do this. Um, I've got this model right here. So let's imagine that this is a sheer, let's imagine this is a sheer um, top. Okay, so it, let's say it's going to be an ivory. Let's make it gray to start. I'm gonna paint it gray. We have to wait for things to dry while we... Okay, so we're gonna paint that gray. Let's paint the other side while we're at it while we're waiting for that to dry. I'm gonna attempt to, attempt to paint sheer even though we don't have a model that's quite right for it. She doesn't have anything that would be look right sheer. Okay, but we'll show you. All right. So if I'm going to paint something sheer, let's say this is let's say this is gray. I'm going to add a little bit of my base flesh tone to my gray. So I've got a color that's in between gray and flesh, okay? And I'm gonna paint where it is touching, only where it's touching. So like if she had skin coming through that, that area, then it would look as if some there was some skin, right? And then you can add a little bit more flesh to the smaller areas where it's like really close. Does that make sense? Let me see if I've got something sheer. What do I have? Hmm. Did that make sense though? I don't have anything. All right, we'll do it. We'll do that on another day. How's that? We'll do sheer, sheer clothing on another day, but that's basically how you do it. Wherever the model is touching the clothing, right? That's gonna be, it's just a little bit more of that. You were looking at some of the Rembrandt's artist's mother today and after your streams, I can see all the greens and blues in the skin, yes. Juice of, thank you for the follow. That's a great name. Yes, look at the fine artist. You'll be able to see all the greens. Look at the Renaissance painters. There's so much green and blue in Caucasian skin, okay? So meanwhile, I'm gonna repaint this back. So that's gonna have a highlight instead of a flesh tone over it. Okay. All right. Put that one back. Let's get back to this one. Yeah, basically where the cloth is pulled tight, where you would glaze it with the skin tones, yes. What's in the tank behind me? Guys, she asked what's in the tank. Do you guys want to see what's in the tank? 
You have to go back and watch this video in detail since you're working and it's impossible for you to really see what you're doing. Your biggest fail in painting is skin tones. So take a look at this guys. Flower Witch Skin Tones video on YouTube. Go look up Shoshi's Flower Witch video. It's a bigger, it's a much bigger mini. It's the same tutorial. You already saw it? <laughs> okay. It's not a snake. It's geckos. Yeah. <laughs> All right, if you guys have already seen it, I'm not gonna take them out because they're sleeping. All right, now here's, I'm gonna again, smaller highlights. Building up volumes. You guys, let's, let me show you some um, dark skin tones. How about that? You wanna see what that looks like? Let's mix, um, we've gotta mix up a dark brown. Here's brown leather. So you can use any brown. Again, remember to, peppercorn, you guys wanna see peppercorn? <laughs> They're geckos. If you're going to bed, though your archives, you need to go through my archives. Yes, thank you, Cat Herder. Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna do brown skin tone real quick. I'm gonna give her a base of this brown. Okay. Now I'm using a flat paint, so things are gonna change a little bit, not much. I wanna get it nice and smooth. Use a reference when you're painting um, ethnic skin tones, okay? When you're not painting Caucasian skin tones, use, well, use a reference even when you're painting any skin tones, honestly. It's gonna make a big difference. Because um, notice how I'm painting one color. We're gonna change that in just a minute because she's gonna have some purple undertones. I'm just being fast. Might need to set up a webcam in the tank. I would, but they just sleep. <laughs> Which paint do I recommend using? I use all the paints. Um, the only I have more paints that I don't recommend using than I recommend. Because uh, I don't recommend Army Painter because they're a little thin. And I like, I like a very saturated paint. But, um... You know, some people that's all they can get where they live. So, you know, use what you can get. Some people like apple barrel because that's what they can get. Um, nothing wrong with that. Goose Beast. Oh my gosh, that's a great name. Thank you for the follow, Goose Beast. Just FYI to my mods, we're probably gonna go overtime a little bit this night, today. One, because I'm not streaming Wednesday or Friday this week because I will be at Adepticon. And two, because this is an awesome skin tones video that everybody might wanna watch. And so we'll just keep going until we finish with this brown skin tone so you can see how different it is. It's different, but it's similar. Okay. Got my base. There we go. All right, I'm just touching up, making sure there's not little, because this is a flat skin, flat paint. It is uh, laying a little differently than my other paint was. All right, that's step one. Now I need like a, where is it? African shadow, it's called. This is sort of like a dark purpley color. Okay, this is my shadow color. I'll show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Oh my gosh, Anna Mary, thank you so much for that raid. Let's give a shout out to Anna Marie. I think that's how I say it. Anna Mare, Anna Mar. Where do I get the models? Kingdom Death, they sponsored my class. 
forget her left hand. Do I forget her left hand? I got both hands. All right, so shadows. I'm gonna put this dark purpley color in there. A little bit, a little bit in the belly. Now it's subtle. You can't really probably even see it on camera, but the reds versus the purples are gonna make a difference. It's pretty, I think it looks good. I don't know if you can even see it from where you're sitting. But dating the booty. That leg is a little bit bent, so I'm giving it more sh more heavy shadow on that side. And same thing over here, we'll give it a little bit more heavy shadow on that side. Okay. And under here, this whole little shadow, that's shaded, and a little bit in the dimple of her back. Okay. Step two, that was step two. Monument Pro Criller, awesome. Those are good. Okay, so next step, you're gonna be like, what are you doing? I've got an orange, okay? Actually, no, before I use an orange, I need a brown. I need a really rusty brown color, like this one, this is orange leather. Yeah, this is orange leather. Okay. Now look at this triad right here. We've got this brown, this purple, and this. Look at how beautiful those colors are together, just like that. The base coat was um, was brown. It was like a brown leather. These are this, these are the colors we've used so far: brown leather, African shadow, and now orange leather. Okay. Now because darker skin is more reflective the hi the highlights are smaller but they're they're a little bit more it's a, a little bit more reflective so Mark Goodwin thank you for hosting okay so on her these are the parts where the light is hitting the skin and again it's small I'm just going to do just the smidgest, smallest amount. I'm going to mix actually a little bit of orange with my base color too so I can help blend that a little bit better. Hopefully that will dry nice. Okay. A little bit more orange. Let's do the orange where we want the high highlights, right? A little bit on the hips. That looks, looks good. Now, I need a brighter orange. This is a Mars orange. Let's see if I can put, yeah, that's a bright orange. Watch what happens. This is gonna be even smaller, smaller highlights. Might even need a, like a, a more Sahara, like a yellow even. Nope, that looks good. That looks really good. Just do a little bit on her knee here. A little bit on her belly. Notice how small it is. Yes. 
God Fursa, thank you so much for the follow. Okay. Small, small highlights. Look how pretty she is. Okay, I'm gonna go back over here, do that a little bit. That's with my base color. Got a little too much purple in there, that's okay. That looks good. I feel like I need to go one step higher. Let's do this golden skin and watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go two steps up and then glaze it back down. And you'll see what it's gonna do. But this is golden and we're gonna basically create an, um, like an undertone. Souls lady, thank you for the follow. We're gonna create an undertone. So we can make sure to get that intensity. Do this. Okay, now I can go back in with my orange leather and see what happens when I, let's see. I, like, I'm kind of feeling this out. I don't know if this is gonna do what I want it to do. Yes, it will. Okay, good. It is doing what I want it to do. So that's a little brighter now. Because of that, we created that undertone. And then if I need to shade back down, I can with my, Base color. Mr. Finley, thank you for the follow. All right, let's see if I can highlight her face. Let's do it with the bright gold. Now we gotta let that dry. Let's see if I can do this over here on her on the back of her hand as well. Just on the knuckles. And then back here with the orange leather. Here we go. Does that look good? Let's try the booty here. Booty. Again, smaller highlights. Looking good. We need more orange though, because it's too um, saturated. This golden, the smidge. And now go back with my orange leather after it's drying. Now remember, this is just one possible skin tone. Use your references. Go back and look up references to try to do other skin tones because there's a million. There's a million. There's as many skin tones as there are people. And don't just stick with one recipe. Okay? That's a booty. Hey, second Schnooky. How are you? It's late. You want to watch? <laughs> Same principles when doing a dark elf toning. Exactly. Exactly. The dark elves would use a gray, you know, just grays, right? Start. So 
I don't know if I'll have time to teach this brown skin tones in my in my class at, at, a, at a Adepticon, but I'll at least give a demo for people who want to see. There we go. I like that. I like the little bit of orange a little bit more. I feel like it pops better. Now what happens when we paint her cow here? And her little undies. Oh, it's funny because um, in Kingdom Death there's no sunlight, so would there be melanin? Or is, King, is the world of Kingdom Death just a, like a purgatory? There's, there's, um, there's thoughts that that might be the case. Okay, really quick, we're gonna paint the end, undies here. So, and then if I wanna make that white. I've got it gray already. Just hit the little highlights on that. Cute. Skin tones are kind of my jam. They're kind of my favorite thing to paint. So I like painting Kingdom Death a lot because there's lots of opportunities to do that. And the more you, the more you do it, the better you get, right? funny because unfortunately the same goes to true for the opposite. I'm not very good at like organic things and so I do not paint a lot of them or inorganic things like like space marines. I don't paint a lot of space marines so because of that I'm not all that great at that. Okay let's check chat. Am I going to be in Chicago? Yes! I will be. Yeah. You're gonna have to get some minis from Kingdom Death. They are cool, and they have a bunch right now. Um, they're very, some of them are very naughty, very naughty. But um, like, let me show you some that are not so bad. This one is the Easter pinup from Kingdom Death. We just finished painting her. There's a booty. She, there's always booties with Kingdom Death. They have a this. Um, this is a guy. This is a male pinup kind of, look at him, that's from Kingdom Death. The models are just fantastic. He's the uh, architect, or I don't know, he's not the architect, I can't remember what he is, but he's pretty cool. Wouldn't that make an awesome, like, urban healer? He's got his little bag. And then this is one of the weirder models that I've got. It's a weird one, that's Kingdom Death also. This is just weird, look at this cool backpack thing, though. Isn't that amazing? This is one of the monsters from Kingdom Death. This is the Slender Man. This is from one of the expansions. We have the game at our house. So you can see I really like painting Kingdom Death. So if you like, if you like this kind of model, so you can you know, see a lot of that on this channel. So there we go. All right, let's show these together. See? Anybody have any questions? We're about done with the stream. Those moldy appendages look really easy to break. <laughs> Thank
they're plastic, so or at least some of these are hard plastic. So uh, these are not too bad. These are the same as like a GW model. Where's his booty? Yeah, he doesn't have a booty. But look at, you can't even see it. There's a little bit of a flip right there. Whoop. <laughs> you meant the Slender Man? Oh, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have a booty. He has, he does, he does too slender. Slender people, like super, super Slender Man people. All right, let's take a peek at who is streaming. I usually stream for two hours, so we're at the end of our time. We're gonna host and, and raid somebody. Let me do Mad Love here. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna raid somebody. If you don't have my emotes, like you are not subscribed, whoops, why isn't it working? Come on, bot, there we go. Copy and paste those emotes. If you have my emotes, we can just spam my emotes. All right. Let's see. Oh, he's a sweet guy. We're gonna we're gonna um, raid Studio Dropship. He's painting a Warhammer mini. I you know you got a lot of you guys like Warhammer, and he will be very surprised. Okay. All right, guys, I will be back next Monday because two, two of my streams were not going to go on because I'll be at Adepticon. So um, come back, follow me if you haven't followed me. Um, if you're watching my YouTube videos, subscribe. And I am also found on Facebook at Show She's Minis on Facebook as well. So thank you, guys. I hope to see you at Adepticon. If you do see me, Come up to me and I will give you a little enamel pin with my logo. It's sort of like our secret club. Let me do the face so you can see me. Our secret club. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go raid Studio Dropship. All right. You guys have a good one. Bye.